Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gravadia is in the building. <laughs> See y'all. After some time away from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia Williams announced in February 2024 that she would be returning to the Bravo reality series. Her Instagram was flooded with positive comments and congratulatory messages. But within days of her announcement, online sources picked up some scandalous information about her husband, Simon Guavadia. And we're about to dive deep into this scalding hot tea that has more twists and turns than an amusement park ride. Buckle up, baby. <laughs> Buckle up. If you hate every little thing we do on our channel, from the singing to the ad libs to the voice impersonations to the snack promotion, well, it's about that time. Have to say bye bye yo, oh, bye bye yo, oh. <laughs> bye Ashy. But for the rest of y'all, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, green apple licorice, and gummy sour peach rings. The haters gonna miss out on them sour peach rings because they be fast forwarding through this part, but that's okay, besties. We know what to put in our margaritas, don't we? <laughs> This information was all obtained by RRG from court filings from the United States District Court for the Northern District of Georgia, Atlanta Division. The petitioner of the court docs has Simon's exact first, middle, and last name. Simon has also confirmed that this is his name on his official website, which proves that the court docs are indeed about him. The details in the About Me section of his website also coincide with the scamming activities that are on file with the district court. All this is going to be messy, ain't it? Ain't it? Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's take a trip back to June 2nd, 1964, which is the day Simon was born. A damn Gemini, sis. I knew it. I know a Gemini when I see one. Girl, shut up. You say that every time. And I'm going to keep saying it. He was raised in Nigeria with his seven siblings. According to Simon, his father worked for the Nigerian prison services, and his mom worked as an English teacher. During an episode of a spinoff series called Portia's Family Matters, Simon also revealed his family lineage of polygamy and stated that his father had two wives. That sounds fun as hell. <laughs> he finished his elementary and high school education in Nigeria and enrolled at Government College Ugeli in Delta State, Nigeria. However, according to Simon's official website, he dropped out of college and immigrated to the U.S. in 1982. Court documents have also confirmed this information. Simon first entered the U.S. on August 11, 1982, when he was 18 years old. He obtained a visa and enrolled at the University of District Columbia in Washington, D.C. U.S. determined he had overstayed his visa, and he voluntarily deported himself back to Nigeria in December 1985. Get to Just six months later, in June 1986, he re-entered the U.S. and obtained a six-month visitor visa. According to court docs, he overstayed his visa again. Now, what the hell is wrong with him? His African aunties must be getting on his nerves. I done heard about them Nigerian aunties, honey. Eh, Simon. Then, in September 1987, he was arrested for bank and credit card fraud and pleaded guilty to those federal offenses. Unbeknownst to the government, Simon had decided to take his fraudulent activities to a whole new level. On October 24, 1988, he used a fake identity to seek temporary resident status under the Special Agricultural Worker Program, otherwise known as the SAW Program. With his lying ass. Ooh, Simon doing the most, y'all. The SAW Program recognizes the contributions that foreign workers make to agricultural industries by granting them residency in the U.S. With his fake identity and fraudulent answers, Simon's application was approved. He was given a registration card as a temporary resident, and his status was automatically upgraded to a permanent U.S. resident following a waiting period. So while he was thieving and scheming the government under a fake name, he got arrested under his real identity in January 1989 for unauthorized use of a vehicle. What that mean? Then in May 1990, he was locked up on fraud charges. Child Simon was just out here doing hood rat things, huh? Any criminal charge can have a negative impact on a person's immigration status, and this is something Simon found out the hard way. A hard head make a soft ass, <laughs> don't it? Don't it? The government started the proceedings to get Simon removed from the U.S. once they determined he was too busy living the life of a city boy. Oh. <laughs>
Before the government could tell him to pack his things and get the hell out, Simon committed another felony offense. Not again. If he don't sit his black ass down somewhere. This time he was apprehended for credit card fraud in January 1991. Three months later in April 1991, an immigration judge held a hearing and ordered Simon to be deported. But on April 27, 1992, he received his permanent residency card, also known as a green card, through the SAW program. And yep, it was obtained through his fake identity. Three weeks later, he was physically removed from the U.S. and deported back to Nigeria due to the offenses he committed under his true identity. And don't bring your ass back. <laughs> now, this is where things get a little murky. Court documents confirm he was definitely deported in March 1992. However, the amount of time someone is barred from entering the country can range from 5 to 20 years to indefinitely. By the early 2000s, Simon was back in the U.S. Make America great again. <laughs> He founded his petroleum business in Atlanta called Simon & Company in 2007. According to his website, he opened several more and invested in passion projects geared toward building up the city of Atlanta, such as investing in an entertainment group with Akon. He has also ventured into the film industry and has been executive producer on several projects. Now, while all this was going on, Simon got married two times and welcomed five children. In December 2016, he applied for naturalization under his fake identity. Naturalization is the process of voluntarily becoming a United States citizen. In court documents, it was revealed that his application was denied because his temporary resident status was unlawfully granted. So it sounds like this is when the government started catching up to Simon's lies. The lies, the lies, the lies. He married his third wife, Fallon, in June 2019. And in December 2020, he filed another application for naturalization. This time, he made it to the interview process. And the immigration department explained that he was ineligible because he had not been lawfully admitted for permanent residence. Simon filed for divorce from Fallon in February 2021. In May 2021, he announced he was engaged to Fallon's Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star, Portia Williams. You can catch all the juicy details in the red flag video that's linked in our description box. Baby, that story had a lot of red flags, okay? It was ding, ding, ding and all over the place. I remember that story, child. Portia announced in a September 2021 Instagram post that she was leaving The Real Housewives after nine seasons. In her caption, she wrote, Don't worry, though, I'll be back on your TV very soon. While Simon and Portia planned their wedding, Simon continued moving forward with attempting to get his naturalization application approved. Give it up, Ninja. Damn. The answer is no. Okay. <laughs> In October 2022, he filed the appropriate paperwork and requested a hearing, and the Immigration Department once again denied his request on November 15, 2022. No means no, Ninja. Ten days later, he and Portia got married in a traditional Nigerian ceremony, followed by an American ceremony. The mother of one has expressed her desire to make Simon a father of six. However, as of this video, they have yet to expand their blended family. You better hold off, Portia. You better hold up, man. Hold up now. Wait just a second, girl. <laughs> it ain't looking too good for Simon. In March 2023, which was four months after getting married, Simon filed a complaint with the court asking that they vacate the immigration department's denial and grant his naturalization status. All right, now you might not want to poke the bear, Simon. Damn. The immigration department showed up to court ready to air Simon's ass out. Let that chopper bang, baby. Let it sing how it sings. <laughs> The agency reiterated that Simon had obtained his SAW program status through a fraudulent identity, and he lied on several questions on the application. They also noted that an immigrant applying for naturalization must be a person of good moral character. And Simon wasn't it, okay? <laughs> this ain't you, Simon. <laughs> Simon, with his goofy self, didn't deny that his soul benefits were obtained through lies, fairy tales, and fallacies. However, he argued that the immigration department misrepresented the significance of his own damn misrepresentations on his initial soul application. The hell he talking about? Negro, get some representation to set your ass down. <laughs> he also stated his application should be approved because he had been living as a law-abiding citizen for the past three decades. The court decided that it wasn't the immigration department's fault for not discovering Simon's fake identity sooner. 
and in the end, the following was determined. Simon's permanent residency is dependent on the residency status he received through his Saul benefits, and he obtained his Saul benefits through a fake identity that misrepresented his criminal history and other personal information. Therefore, his permanent residency status is unlawful, and his request for naturalization was denied. His case was dismissed as of January 2024. All of this is so messy, and we aren't even sure what will happen to Simon from here. Based on a brief Google search, it appears that he can reapply for naturalization again after a waiting period. But then we stumbled across some more rather concerning information from the U.S. Immigration Department. It states that the agency can revoke permanent resident status if they ever learn of a misrepresentation or a lie that helped the person obtain a green card. Even if a person has been granted status as a permanent resident, the Immigration Department can revoke it when the underlying basis of the application is fraudulent. Ruh -roh. So what you're trying to say is Simon ass is grass. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's what I heard too, girl. That's what I heard. That what I, Simon ass grass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. No, this is grass. Yeah, where he gonna go? Somewhere else. He gonna have to go somewhere over there. Somewhere over the rainbow <laughs> with his lying ass. Now, we're unsure if Portia knew about Simon's past criminal history and his court tussle with the immigration department prior to tying the knot. But what we do know is that she has officially announced that she will be returning to The Real Housewives for season 16. She also signed a talent deal with NBC Universal to partner on scripted project opportunities across the company's broadcast and streaming properties. Oh yeah, now see she getting back to the bag. Now see when she didn't think she had nothing to worry about, she wasn't working. Y'all saw that? Now nah, bitch back to work. You see that? <laughs> Poor Shane stupid. Even though she did think the Underground Railroad was a train station, but that's beside the point, okay? She has grown. <laughs> this is a good move for Portia, and we're happy for her. But now that the truth about Simon's past has made headlines, many people wonder if his criminal charges will be discussed on the upcoming seasons. Do you think Portia will stand by her fugazi boo? Girl, is fugazi. Fugazi, fugazi, girl. You know what we lie, a lie, lying ass. That's what it means, okay? Or will she pack up her go naked hair bundles and leave Simon in the dust? Let us know your thoughts down below. And thanks for watching RRG.